Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we'll demonstrate for you how to manage your virtual room settings for Scopia Desktop through the Scopia Desktop web portal. The first thing that you'll want to do is access your Scopia Desktop URL. That's normally provided to you by your IT department. And that should get you to something like what you see on the screen right now, where you're prompted to enter your name and a meeting ID to join. Now these are the typical prompts that you'll see when you are actually not logged into the Scopia desktop service with a username and password. So in order to manage your virtual room settings, the first thing you need to do at this point is to log in with your username and password provided to you by your IT department. In order to do that, you simply need to go up to the upper right hand corner of that screen and select the sign in link, after which you'll be prompted to enter your username and password for the Scopia desktop service. Now once you've done that, once you have signed in, you'll be taken back to the Scopia desktop main page here. You'll still see the option to enter a meeting ID, but now you'll also have the ability to enter your virtual room as you see there where it says click here to enter your virtual room. So this tells you that you're successfully logged into the Scopia desktop service and that you do have a virtual room assigned to you. At this point though, we want to manage the settings for our virtual room. So we'll go up to the upper right hand corner of the screen again and click the settings link that's listed there. This pops up a small window for us where we can adjust some of the general settings for our user in Scopia Desktop. But again, specifically, we want to focus on the virtual room configuration. So we'll select the tab there that says virtual room. Now, once we do that, you'll notice that there are several options here, not very many, but there are several. You have the ability to set the virtual room name, which is what is displayed to users who join your virtual room. You'll also have the ability to select the meeting type. Typically, you will not, as a user, have more than one option listed there. As in my case, I only have the default service available for the meeting type. You can also enter a moderator pin. This is the pin or the number that you would need to enter in order to join your meeting as a moderator, uh, assuming you are using some other client other than Scopia Desktop, or you were not logged into Scopia Desktop for some reason. The next option you have there is to protect the meeting with a PIN. This is essentially a participant PIN code, which forces users to enter a code before they're actually allowed to join your meeting. You also have a couple of options related to streaming and recording listed there, such as the ability to just automatically start recording when the meeting starts and to place participants in a waiting room until the moderator joins the meeting. So all of those settings are found under your virtual room settings in the Scopia desktop client. Make sure that if you do make changes to any of these settings that you do click the apply button or the OK button in order to successfully save them to the Scopia desktop server. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.